Courtney. And I'm a And this is Geekery TV. The you know where we talk about the stuff we geek out about. And today we're geeking out. I'm eating goldfish. Um, and today's <laughs> geek out is... Oh! Red Box Roulette. Red Box Roulette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> so. We got some movies the other no. day. One was a total snooze fest and I fell asleep. I have narcolepsy. Not, not diagnosed narcolepsy, but sometimes I take micronets. She's self-diagnosed. I fall asleep. <laughs> she, like mid-conversation I have had conversations. I was having a conversation with my dad one time, and I was like, I asked him a question. He evidently answered me, but I fell asleep. And then I woke up, and I was like, you're going to answer my question? He was like, I did. Like 15 minutes but ago. But that has nothing to do with what we're going to talk about. Because we are going to talk about two movies on this one, because they are, you know, they go hand in hand. VHS mm-hmm. and VHS 2. Now, I had never seen VHS before. I had yeah. not. It terrifies me. I don't know why... But this is a movie that I watched the second time, and I sat there with, like, my sweater up over my face. Yeah, she was totally making herself, like, a burka out of her sweater, out of fear. I don't know why they scare me so much. I think it's the vignettes. I think it's because everybody growing up in the 90s had tapes without, like, stickers on them. (laughs) It's all like, what's this video? And then you put it in, and you think it's going to be something really nice and pleasant, and then it turns out to be something terrible. Somebody, like, killing somebody. I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say what actually happened to me, but I won't do that. Oh, oh, do that! Oh, do that! So sometimes... (laughs) <laughs> you put in a video <laughs> looking for, like, a home movie because you want to use it in a school project, and the home movie you find is your parents doing it. Sorry, Mom. And you're in junior high, and you're like, ah! <laughs> You go, why is he doing that to my mom? <laughs> and that happens. So that movie, VHS, kind of made me think of that. <laughs> <laughs> because it was like none of the tapes were labeled and it was no. like good luck it was like some of them had like renters boxes from taking it old school where they were like sorry it's my knee I don't, I don't know. like it I don't like my knee <laughs> where it was like that like blockbuster gray clear plastic <laughs> you know what I'm talking about <laughs> I used to work on video yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about so it was like that kind of like clear plastic where you could see the VHS in the Mm-hmm. But it's like gray. There was like some in those. There were some in those like now, VHS sleeves. If you've seen this movie, if you've seen VHS, you know that there are like like five or six vignettes. You know, tiny movies. If you don't know what a vignette is. Like 15 minutes. Um, where basi- they look homemade and terrible things happen quickly. And they're kind of, I mean, they're not overly scary, but the imagery, because it's, <laughs> I think partially because it comes at you so fast, and because it's all strong imagery, and it's, you don't get a full story. No. You only get bits. And of, sometimes you don't even get a full picture. No. I think it's just enough to go, oh, God, why? And then it cuts. And then you see, because the movie starts out with these guys. This is VHS, like, not VHS 2. Right, VHS. Um. These guys who are, like, basically hooligans. But, like, grown men. Yeah, they're, like, those grown men that you don't want to, you don't want your daughter to date. Like, at one point, they're in what looks like a mall, like, parking garage. Parking structure, yeah. And they totally run up behind this girl. And they're like, woo! And flash the camera, and she's, like, freaking out, and her boyfriend gets tackled and starts to get beaten up, and then it cuts to them, like, demolishing a house that's, like... Right. Being it's, built. It's strange. So they get paid to go into this house, break into this house, and steal a movie. And they'll know which movie it is when they, they see, see it. it. But there's, again, there's no, like... But they go into this house, and it's, like, an old farmhouse. It's got, like, no furniture in it. Besides all these TVs. Right. And they go upstairs, and there's a dead guy in a barca lounger in a room that's got, like, 17 TVs and mountains of VHS tapes. And all the TVs are turned to snow, which is the (laughs) scariest thing ever. You know why? They're here. Anyway. So, instead of being, 
like, let's just grab all the DVDs and all the VHSs, whoo, and go. They're like, Richard, like, you guys stay here. Watch the movies. We're going to go in the basement. No. Once again, we have to reiterate, don't, don't go, go in, in the, the basement. basement. Don't go towards the funny noise. Don't stay in the room with the dead body. And never yell hello when you hear a sound. And if you see a naked man in the basement, you run! Freaking you run! run! Forget you, the you VHSs. Go, hey, Greg, I think I saw a naked <laughs> guy in the basement. So they're in the basement looking at these piles and piles of VHS. And it's a basement. There's like shelving units of tools and a folded mattress. And then all of a sudden, you see a glimpse of a naked guy. Just walking with his head down. And one guy goes, Greg, there's somebody down here. There's nobody down here. Greg, there's somebody he's down like, here. Greg's like, get a box. We need to get these videos. Because finally he's got it in his head that he's just going to take the damn videos and go. All of them. Which is like 185 million <laughs> yeah, like The whole inventory of Blockbuster when it first came out. Yeah, like... Everything. From, like, a huge blockbuster, not, like, a rural Troy, Ohio blockbuster. Way to go, way to get, I gave my name in an earlier video, and now they know where I live. <laughs> Please don't come kidnap me. <laughs> Make her watch VHS. <laughs> I don't know why it terrifies me. Anyways, so. Each guy watches a movie. And they then, watch one of the little movies. And then it flashes back to, like, real life. And a guy's gone. Yeah, whoever was watching the video is gone. Besides the third guy, and when it flashes back, the dead farmer is gone. And that guy. They're both gone. And then, Greg, stupid Greg, who's like the ringleader of this crap, totally walks up and like is looking around for people, and then he trips over a dead guy, one of his dead friends, and he's like, guys, this isn't funny. Dude, that's your friend's head you just stepped on. Like, that's not supposed to be funny. And then the dead farmer's like, he's like a Zed. Zed? Yeah, if you don't get that if you're even remotely British. I hope you are. If not, he's a zombie. Don't say the Zed word. Don't say the Zed word. <laughs> Sorry, we're quoting movies. Um, it's okay, it's just Shaun of the Zed. Shaun. Oh. oh. Um, hey, mom. So. Hey, mom, kill Phil. Rescue. Go to the Winchester. <laughs> so, in conclusion, VHS one is a video about, about people videos. watching videos, and you die or become this like mutant creature thing. Right, because you never really find out where they go. We know for sure two people are dead because Greg gets. I'm sure that's probably not even his name. We just have named him Greg. <laughs> he's a ginger. Like, he's blonde. His beard, his mustache is ginger. Yeah, that happens to blonde. Why does that happen? Do you know why that happens? It's a, it's a... Uh, Genetic trait? No, no, it's something to do with, um... We're <laughs> having to finish this. <laughs> I'm thinking, what's it called? Chlora uh, something? No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to keep talking. Oh, it's late. <laughs> um, I didn't get off work until really late. It's like midnight. midnight. I didn't take, well, I kind of took a nap during Hoarders today. <laughs> I love Hoarders. Okay. Who else is sad that that's ending? <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> okay, anyway, so, so VHS 2. Ah, would you stop it with your tiny hobbit legs? You keep kicking me, Damn. She's being mean to me. Listen. You all just went to bed. <laughs> you just keep kicking me with your little tiny nubbin leg. Oh, hush up the camera. I'm sorry. I Did you just say hashtag? <laughs> I shook. I shook the camera. <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> no. Uh, Anyways. Dying. You're not dying. Anyways. <gasps> so VH to VHS2. It's basically the same premise. Right. Except that the guy and the girl who watch the videos are like the private investigators. Um, but they perform a B and E. Yeah, so they break into this guy's house because his mom is like, Oh, my son's missing. I talk to him every day. I haven't seen him in I a week. for him from a week. But by the way, the guy you got to play, the college student, looks like he was forty five? Right. He was like an old ass dude. <laughs> totally not age appropriate. Not age appropriate. Anyways. Maybe he went to college late. But he's totally like <laughs> he 
watches the video. <laughs> like, what is that? He's like, like where's he Joe? Pigeon toe? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> conversation we've had today. So, basically, <laughs> this girl and this guy who are private investigators break into this dude's uh, house who's supposedly a college student. Maybe he went to college late once. I don't know. No judgment. He's no like judgment. 45. Judgment free zone. Like, he is getting ready to retire old. <laughs> yeah, like, um, you did not do <laughs> the casting. Okay. Anyway, so, there are all these videos. Surprise. And all of but there's also a laptop, and so the girl, like, clicks the button so that his, like, webcam pops up so that the video that he was taping starts to play. The thing is, I wish she would have let that play more because he starts talking about how the videos that you watch... In order. If you watch them in order, they affect your your mind and your how, body. how you perceive the world and will make you believe in things. And he was like, I don't know about you guys, because apparently this is a forum... Yeah, was, like, posting it onto an online forum. And he was like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not watching them in order, and I'm having things happen. Right. And then we see what the things that happen. So, then the girl starts a, a video. Stupid. She doesn't disappear at the end. She's there. But she got a headache. But, apparently, this is a common thing. Yeah, she got migraines. Because the guy was like, honey, did you bring your migraine pills? She's like, it's in my purse. And then he looked in her purse, and then he's like, honey, but they're not there. You must There's a it. pharmacy around the corner. Okay, I'll leave you in this dark, abandoned house that you have never been in before, but you have a gun in your purse, so it's cool. Yeah, he checked. He checked. He's like, you got your gun? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, she watches another video. Cut to the end. She's still there, but we see something move in the other room, Ooh. and it's him. Crawling, that's why I did this. Not <laughs> not her boyfriend, private investigator, but, but like guy who's missing. missing, and his mouth you see blood. That's all you see. Yeah, it's kind of like misshapen. So, she watches, another, watches video. another video. At the end of that video, she's still there. But she's laying on the ground. And her nose is bleeding. Yeah, and her dude comes back and he's <laughs> like, oh no, what? But it's, oh, hey. And then, but there's a tape that says, wash me in lipstick. Yeah. So, so he so does. He watches it. And at the end, she's still laying there. He's still there and he hits the laptop. Right. And apparently, the college student goes crazy, blows his brains out, and then comes back to life. But he didn't really blow his brains out. He mostly just blew the bottom part of, of his, his face jaw? Off. So, like, his tongue is, like, down mm -hmm. here, like, against his chest. Which is, I mean, good makeup, good effect. Yeah, it was great effect. Um, Your budget went up. Kudos, I man. Mean, uh, once again, you know, the movies were not all that scary. There was one that I couldn't watch most of. Um, She's terrified of aliens. Not like Paul. Paul's cool. No, Paul's cool. Because he cusses and he smokes and he's right. funny. Right, and he's Seth Rogen. <laughs> but, like, she but, like, can't that, watch that, that whole, like, gray alien, I won't watch Close Encounters, I won't watch, you know, anything that has to do with aliens, I don't know why, it just freaks me out. Probably because when I was a child, um, Unsolved Mysteries was really popular and everybody was getting abducted by aliens. Everybody. Everybody in the and 90s got abducted. We had... I was not doing it. And Brittany doesn't like the country either, not because it's the country, but because of how far away it is from everything else. That's where they abduct people. They don't abduct people in downtown Toronto. There's not like a spaceship just shows up and like, tractor beam. No. It's like out in the country, they do crop circles, so you don't be doing crop circles in the middle of town. You see what I look It's with? a sound logic. So... They pick people up in the woods. Mm. And in the country. That's where it happens. So, Guess who's never living in the country? Oh, I did once. It was terrifying. She had to drive home. Ooh. Anyways, so <clears throat> she had to take her glasses off because if you don't know, we're blind in real life. <laughs> I'm not super blind, but I was far enough away from the TV that I couldn't make things out. I can't see like five inches in front of my face. It was I am terrifying. Yeah. They were really scary. As soon as the first one popped up, I was like, ah! And she took off her glasses, and I was like, just look away. I'll tell you when it's okay. You have made fun of me. Everybody makes fun of me about the alien yeah. thing. Yeah. But you equated it to something. 
Well, those aliens in this were creepy. The thing is, they weren't any scarier than any other alien I've ever seen, mm -hmm. but they freaked you out. Enough to, like, sit with me for a moment. Those are the kind of aliens I always see. When I see an alien, they are the most scary, freaking, probe you in the butt, steal you, put you in, like, a skin cocoon, and fill, like, jello around your body, keep you for decades kind of aliens, put their alien fetuses inside of you. <laughs> I apologize for the years of making fun of you. I'm sorry. I used to... If you're ever an alien, too, please comment below. Um, I used to, I owned the VHS of Sign. I've never watched it. And I would, I've watched bits and pieces. Because I would call her into the room and be like, Brittany, what's this, what's this movie look like? <laughs> Just as the aliens walked by. I mean, it looked like terrifying, scary stuff. I'm evil. Anyways, I, I like these films, even though they terrify me for some reason. And that's, I think they're, they're, they're made to set with you and to kind of go, Ugh. You know, they're trying, like, they're made to like kind of resonate and like freak you out later. <laughs> And some of the, a lot of the videos that you see are very personal. Yeah. It's a look into somebody's life, and you, we think taping these isn't a look into our lives, but it is. It's not as personal as all those films, but. No, I'm not going to kill you. Thank you, I won't kill not you. Not today. Don't do that, you look weird. Thanks. <laughs> and now, hey, <laughs> comment and like us. Let us know if you've seen this video. Yeah, and if you've seen VHS, let us know. If you've seen VH2, <coughs> let us know. Let us know which one you thought was the scariest. Mackenzie? VHS2 by far. No, but that first video of VHS. With the girl? Yeah. That it freaks you out. I don't know why. I think because it's really animalistic. Maybe it's, it's because... still really human. Yeah. It's, it's, if you've seen this, I'm going to... Spoiler! Um, the very first video of VHS is about these three guys who are in college, or about that age, and they buy glasses, buy glasses that have a camera, and they go out to a bar. And it looks so similar to the bar I go to in um, about 30 miles south of here, in Dayton. It looks like that back room that like it looks like a lot of bars I've been right? to. Right, it's it's just it's it's kind of general generic bar. bar room. Yeah, and the kids are stupid. At one point, they ask for what is it? Irish booze. I want the Irish stuff. Yeah. And the bartender goes top shelf. Like you're stupid. Anyways, and they meet this girl. They meet girls like they do, and they take two of them back to the hotel room they're staying in. One girl passes out right away, and one guy's like, dude, no, don't do it. So, the big douchey guy pushes the cute little boy that has the glasses on out of the way from the girl he brought, who's... Kind of terrifying she's, looking. She's odd. But she's she's sweet looking, almost. Innocent. Yeah. And she just keeps looking at the guy and going, I like you. That's cool. He was like, oh, he totally is just like, oh, she's drunk. It's okay. No, she's crazy. I'm going to try that. <laughs> the next time I go in, I'm going to be like, I like you. Don't do it to me. Don't, don't. Stop making a face at me. I like you. Anyway, <laughs> comment below if that creeps you out. <laughs> Anyways, and so they... Don't have to touch me so much. I'm sorry. I'm so used to like... I'm so like used to like cuddling. Me. Sorry. Anyways, so they go back to the hotel and this girl... It's not a girl. She's something scary. She's like, her face splits right here, just here, so her eyes become further out, and her nose uh, becomes wider and elongated. She's kind of like a vampire. Because she sucks the two guys' blood, the douchey guy and the douchey guy's friend, but not like the cute guy with the glasses. But like, he runs away and falls and trips down the steps and breaks his arm because we see the bone, and... Then she tries to give him a BJ to make him feel better. And then she was like, you know, like me? And he goes, no, it's not that, it's just I'm in pain. And she starts to cry. Sob! So he runs out the door, the emergency exit, and goes up to, like, the lobby of the hotel. And starts, they're like, like, go around. Banging, and they're like, no, no, you're not allowed in. And then she sprouts wings and grabs him. And the next thing you know, the glasses are gone. So all I can assume is that she took him to be his sex slave. Like, her sex slave. It's very odd. I think she ate him. I don't. 
If she, would, if she was going to eat him, she would have ate him originally. Well, she took him home to eat him. She took him to meet her family first. It's, it just sits <laughs> funny with me. It's, it's got strong imagery. It just sits very odd with it me. It feels really rapey for a little bit. Yeah. And you're like, oh, God. But I do love, side note, asterisk, I do love that she doesn't attack the girl. No. The girl is passed out. She leaves the girl alone. She kills the other two guys, though. Yeah. And throws it at the kid with the glasses. And he goes, oh. I went, oh. Anyways, it just sits funny with me. And uh, I don't know. I don't know why. But the weird Asian thing in the second one. Yeah, it's very don't drink the Kool-Aid, culty, and the devil's in it type Yeah, story. and they deal with a lot of devil worship in that one. That one I think you have to take as you will. Yeah. Like, I think everybody would do, will take it differently. something else than that. Because, well, we were raised in a good old traditional religion. We were raised Catholic. We don't practice much now, but that's beside the point. It's something that's ingrained in you, and seeing that imagery sits. Yeah. It sits like where my diaphragm is. It just sits real weird. Our mom won't watch any movies that have the devil in them or any sort of possession, because she's, she's just sure that, yeah. you know... The, I don't want to make it sound like she's, like, crazy religious We're not. fanatic. We're not. But that sort of, like, imagery and stuff gets stuck in your head, and it kind of, it, it gnaws away at the sort of, like, natural goodness people have. And our mother is amazingly naturally good, and she's the best in everybody. I love our mom. She's a pain in the butt, though. She works with her. That's the only reason she's playing that. <laughs> Um, but anyways, so if you've seen these, let us know. Let us know which little vignette you you found either the most terrifying or you liked the most. Like, the cinematography in them are, they're pretty good. Yeah. I mean, they're supposed to look like handy cams, like, you know, people just videotaping their shenanigans. Ah! Next one to say shenanigans gets pistol whipped. Anyway. So, let us know what you think. Comment below. Like us. Share us. And subscribe to us? Yeah, we didn't say that one. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I went out of order. And tell all your friends about us. Share us on Facebook. Show us to your mom. We are family friendly. I We try not to cuss that much. We try. Sometimes it fracking happens. We get really into stuff. <laughs> but like us on Twitter. Oh, wait. We, we don't, don't have, have a Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> we don't believe in Twitter. No, because I'm kidding. I believe in it. I just have a really hard time figuring it out because I'm an old lady. I have a Twitter. I have two Twitters. I just don't know how to, like, retweet people. So, share us on Twitter. If you can. Um, like, like us on... Oh, oh, we don't have a Facebook either. <laughs> share us on Facebook. Yeah, share our, share our videos. We're totally okay with it. Send us some awesome uh, fan mail. Yeah, if you want to send us fan mail, we're totally okay with you that. You can email us, and we will give you our super secret address. That or... Not come to our house. No. It will go to a super top secret, secret location. location. But I have mentioned it in an earlier video. The address. Don't give her. <laughs> I, I don't want to die. We never lock the door. <laughs> Please disregard that. You just heard that. Let's see the videos. You'll find it. <laughs> I think it's like in the third video we taped. But if you want to send us fan mail, email us. Our email is on our page. It is geekerytv at gmail.com. Very simple. And we will give you our top secret secret address until we can figure out what size post office box we want. If we get mail. We want mail. I want fan mail. Is that weird? If, if we get fan mail, we will totally read it on the air. And we will totally write back or send you stuff. Yes, and we will comment about <laughs> it and we will talk about it and we will love you. And if forever. we get more than like four... Even if we get, like, two, we are doing a video. Absolutely. About fan mail. Because, you know, it, it, it's kind of one-sided. We want to hear your opinions right. about this. If, you know what, I would, I don't want to get hate mail, though. I just, I don't. If we get hate mail, I'm going to read it on the air, and I'm not going to be nice about it. And you don't want to see me when I'm not nice. I see it all the time. I'm not always nice. <laughs> Except when you kick me with your tiny stubby legs. <laughs> Why are you going to call my legs like, so Call them hobbit legs. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're stubby legs. Leg nubbins? Leg nubbins? They're, fi they're full legs. I promise you, there's feet at the end of them, and no matter what you say. And they're not ungodly hairy like a hobbit. They might be right now. It's winter. <laughs> they're 
not. I promise you. So, <laughs> on that note, like us, comment, share us, subscribe, and we will talk to you later. I'm Brittany. I'm Mackenzie. And this is Geek Green TV. Bye.